Brown Town. Dogs of Brown Town. Dogs of Brown Town. Hey, welcome to yeah. <laughs> Lords of Brown Dog. Dogs of Lord Town. Welcome to Dogs of Brown Town. Those two psychos are my uh, co hosts. I'm Saul Trujillo. To my right, we got Hormos Rashidi. Hey, Mamlun, merci. <laughs> what? Is, wait a minute. Hold on. To my left, we'll come back to that. Put a pin in that. You don't just say that to me. And then to my left, we got Joe Hola, Tienes. bienvenidos a Hi. Dogs of Brown Town. <laughs> you couldn't say perros? <laughs> I was. Here's what happened was uh, in my mind, I started doing the math of if I knew how to say the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Perros de Caca Ciudad. Yeah, Whoa. yeah. <laughs> what, would it be Ciudad? He said it kind of better. No, 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 no. <laughs> Perros de Ciudad Cafés. Oh, that would be Dorado. Dorado would be like golden, right? Yeah, anyway. something like that. <laughs> I, said, I said Poop City. Yeah. Caca, Caca Ciudad. What's Welcome your town? to the dogs of Brown Town. Uh, like every episode, we're going to start each episode with a countdown timer as to when uh, white people will be the minority <laughs> in the United States. Uh, it's coming up quick, too, man. When we first started this, I was like, this is going to be a while. But now we're like seven. I mean, yeah. look how beautiful it is. Seven. I know. I must preface that. We uh, we didn't come up with this timer. This was something that clearly Ashley Furniture came up with. Ashley Furniture, our sponsor. <laughs> yeah. Get yourself a nice little futon. <laughs> Ashley, a nice futon to sit on while you watch this timer countdown. <laughs> Ashley Furniture, futons for white people and only for white people. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Ashley. This is my furniture. Uh, promo code D's of bees. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, uh, thank y'all for coming, guys. How you how you been? How we good? Good. Good. We're doing a very special. I didn't want to break the fourth wall down, but that's what we do as brown people is breaking down walls. Don't <laughs> yeah, try to yeah, break those on over us. Them. Not me. walls and breaking them back down. <laughs> but it, we are doing an early, an early-ish morning. It's 11, 21 a.m. I, I kind of like this, man. I had a fucking I matcha in the car. I'm fucking ramping, dude. I've had too much coffee to the because like I'm gonna wake up early. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have two cups of coffee now. I'm all like, I'm all, all now. Over what's the your place. Prefer- Well, how do you make your coffee at home? Oh, it's like Come a back. child. Really? <laughs> yeah. So instant. I'm well, a mocha. Instant I'm a mocha boy, mm-hmm. and I'm a, now. I was an instant guy, but we got a coffee. We were moved, uh-huh. so now we have room for a coffee pot. I don't live in a 300 square cell anymore. <laughs> now we yet, got one yet. bedroom. <laughs> yet, yeah, 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 yeah. His yeah. old place was so small he couldn't afford. He didn't have the room for a coffee maker. Yeah, a hundred percent. We had a room for a, t- a, a toaster that I cooked in there. I cooked like I baked cookies in that uh, tiny toaster, damn. Uh, and then a hot plate. I want to learn your ways. Learn my way. Just be shit. Just yeah. learn how to live off the railroad. I had so an old like living like an eighteen year old in college. <laughs> yeah, me and like my in wife. The dorms. Yeah. Me and my wife were almost forty. We're like, hey, <laughs> yeah, dorm life. <laughs> I remember Russell do. Peters talking about like being on the road back in the day and making uh, macaroni in the coffee in like the percolator. Like That's crazy. In the coffee thing, he could have. Man, I think yeah, you would put the noodles in there, boil, get the like boiling in, in water the in there, and then you can mix thing, yeah. the cheese and stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. It I've seen Todd here. Glass do uh, yeah, grilled cheeses in a hotel with the iron and the ironing board and foil. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I, I don't do that. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. then you'd have to be ironing, and that's yeah, yeah, too yeah, much yeah. work. Dude, fuck that shit. I don't know. I'm, well, I'm glad you're here because you had to cancel on jujitsu yeah. in the morning. It's fine. I'll just be a psychopath the rest of the day. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, it was fine. I'm happy to do it to be here. It's I, I Because I'm going to... Uh, because I'm going somewhere next week. Oh, uh, you can't say it? I can't say it. Oh. Um... I won't be able to go, and I've been paying for the month and not going, and it's like seems like so. Now I'm just like I was trying go to go as get much as my, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. How much does it cost? To, I mean, no, no, is it expensive? How about that? Let's not get an exact number. Um, not for what it is, but just I could see some people saying that it is okay. like a buck fifty a month. Anyway, I uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah, it's a dollar fifty a month. You could go to Equinox for that, bro. Fuck that. But then you don't get to learn how to kill people. Do you? Oh. I'm working out and also learning how That's to like, strangle. Wait, wait! You can That's kill people true. with jujitsu? Yeah. Well, pull guard on the switchblade, huh? How about that? Well. <laughs> That's that's true. <laughs> they, there are schools that teach how to get weapons out of people's. Uh, out of, out of their but hands. the positive of like a regular gym is uh, you don't get hurt. <laughs> I don't really. I don't get hurt too much. Yeah. Well, you were talking earlier. I did hurt my hand. But, <laughs> <laughs> but that's a rare occurrence. Yeah. Yeah, no, you, I would was, get hurt every time. Yeah. I get hurt in my sleep. Yeah. I pulled a. I pinched a nerve. I do too, though. Yeah. <laughs> if I, just, I don't stretch before Joel tells us about jujitsu. 
I, I, I'll pull something. Yeah, Joe, fuck, take it easy. Yeah. You know? We're I gotta talking about how healthy you are. Jesus Christ. No. I did karate. I got up to green belt as a kid, Hell and then yeah. I quit. I was like, because there's no way, dude. Damn, dude. <laughs> I, I wanted to do karate real bad. As, as an kid. adult, but then no, you got to beat up kid. all these kids. No, Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, karate but my parents, uh, I went to like one free trial class, and then that was it. My, I think it was too expensive maybe for my parents. Yeah, same. But if you have kids, put them in jujitsu. I think, man, if I had that in high school, I would. my life might have been a lot different. I don't think jujitsu was that popular when we it were wasn't, growing no, up. It wasn't really like a big thing, but a lot of like the Brazilians came to Southern California. So like here, there is a lot of fucking good schools to go to. And, like, did uh, they teach you how to do like a chimichurri lock? <laughs> like chimichurri arm Seal lock? Seal in the flavors on his neck. <laughs> try, try tip six in. Look at him, look how mad he is. <laughs> get him, hormones. <laughs> He's so upset right now. I'm just want, I, I just want you to get him to the point where he just fucking gets you. Just your neck no. is upside down. No, hormones is doing mental jujitsu on me. And that's stronger than anything I've ever learned. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Hormos, I'm just saying he's got a bad hand. So if he comes at you, kick his hand. <laughs> Bite his hand. Bite him on the hand. <laughs> it's the wrong hand. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Uh, I, I, I wanted, I want to do jujitsu. Yeah. Just because, because it seems like uh, it, it'd get me off the couch and it seems and onto your back <laughs> and onto my back and onto my back clearly like the turtle i am I, I think it'd be good i think it's like exercising in disguise you know it's kind of like the way hiking is kind of like although i fucking hate hiking I stop you. calling me for hikes i don't want to go if you want to hang out let's just get coffee or something I'm so sick of fucking people calling me and going you want to hike no no i never want to hike you could just text me back and say i don't want to hike i'm telling you <laughs> right now dude, live on the show no i'm such a good friend you'll never get do you want to hike from me god no but i but i think hold on what so you're not like hiking and exercising like all day every day i'm I a think... good citizen i say you want to go to lunch <laughs> <laughs> always dude, we get lunch always <laughs> lunch always <laughs> coffee <laughs> never hiking dude honestly i don't think i ever like hike and then not treat myself with way more calories than i burn <laughs> You know, I like, walked 9,000 <laughs> steps, therefore Korean barbecue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, times I've done that. No, you should do it. If, uh, you should at least try it. I think that um, I've seen people really like change their lives and like their physicality. I honestly want to. And I remember telling Steve Simone. Yeah. I was like, I was like, because he was telling me about how much he loves you. And I was like, oh, I've always wanted to do it, but I have a bad back mm -hmm. and this and I'm scared. And he was like, well, you should be. Yeah. He's like, there's a lot of assholes there who, who like hurting people a lot of people and i'm like oh i definitely don't want to but like white belts right like that's yeah, right here white belts well, are the most dangerous white belts get you hurt yeah yeah sometimes they're very like squirrely man I, I roll with this guy who's like and i get it he's young he's like he's in it to win it but sometimes i want to be like hey man just relax like we're not here trying to win championships he, even when we're like drilling how old is he moves he's got to be in his early 20s he's got too much cum inside of him yeah mm -hmm. when you we're like that much cum stuff, inside of like, you you're really just like, like ah I want to kill. I'm breathing like, and I'm just like, all right, dude, relax. We're just learning movements here. Let's I used to have so much cum inside me, but then I farted. <laughs> Came out of your butt? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ew, yeah, yeah. hormones. What, that's no. Yeah. Maybe that's why I feel heavy. I haven't farted in <laughs> years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it just, it sounds, but I'd wear my gi everywhere. Uh, disgusting. I'm that's, like, yeah, I that's just cool. 7-Eleven. Yeah. Let it's me get a hot dog. High school, right? I'm like, I don't yeah. know if I could handle it. Or if middle I, if school. Good, if I could beat everybody up in middle school. Yeah. If I knew... <laughs> you know, but the like thing maybe is, I if you know how to funny and, and, and nice, yeah, uh, maybe true. I would have been yeah. the, the tough guy. No, but if you know, if you truly know how to beat someone up, you don't want to. Usually, there's a lot of meatheads out there, but like, uh, and it's like one of the more like gentle yeah. martial arts. No one's getting punched. You're, you, I saw a guy at the at the Universal Bar and Grill back when they used to do a show called Turbo Tuesdays there. Shout this, out Mikey. Yeah, Mikey and Robert Turo. This guy t like touched one of the waitresses or something. Didn't Whoa. know that that um. One of the comics was like a fucking black belt or something. The guy got him in a rear naked choke, like so simple and just calm, like put him out, slowly put him to the ground, like leaned him up against the thing. And then like, <laughs> and then like tapped him like this. And like, the guy was waking up. He's like, what happened, man? You hit your head or something? And the guy was like, didn't know what the fuck <laughs> happened. Like, I like how erotically you put him down. There he you did. Go. Yeah. He brought him erotically. Mm, to kissed the him ground. on the forehead. Why, why did they name these moves? 
such sexual things. Mm -hmm. Rear, naked. Well, I think you hear what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. Is rear and naked, is it, is it just in my head? <laughs> well, just think, well, do you sleep with clothes on? Two-finger vaginal clamp. Well, the school I go to is 10th Planet. Eddie Bravo yeah. started that. They got all Eddie these Bravo. crazy names. Like They're there to help you remember positions, but you know they got crackhead control, homie control. Uh, <laughs> crackhead you know, control. Yeah. Yeah. I need to learn crackhead control. Yeah. Gotta get LA. a meth head in a lock. Uh-uh, not yeah. a crackhead, dummy. Yeah. Yeah. Not a crackhead. Oh, that's black culture, <laughs> controlling a meth head. Yeah, rear naked choke. I, mean, I go to sleep. You should go to sleep naked, dude. And if an intruder comes in, you hit him with that rear naked. Be authentic. <laughs> yeah. Dick yeah. right on the back. <laughs> that face it. <laughs> um, yeah, man. I, I I don't know. I don't know. A, uh, a day will come where you're gonna, where you'll I either... I want to learn. Do wanna, you? I do. I'm just scared. There's a, there's a school, uh, the Gracie Academy. They got one in... There's one in Torrance and one in Beverly Hills. It, uh, but... Uh, they're very like structured and they don't let you do because they want to prolong your jujitsu life. Like mm -hmm. it's very slow. You get like a card, they mark off stuff. So that might be a good one where yeah. you, you learn, you, you're not even allowed to roll till you're a blue belt. So is that, that's not a cauliflower ear one. Can you get cauliflower ear? Yes, from but you can prevent that, dude. People like the way it looks. You can, no, I want it. I oh, mean, yeah, yeah. look at how fat I am and had cauliflower. How did he get that? Yeah. Like, yeah, that guy clearly has never been near cauliflower. <laughs> I, uh, I eat it too much. I love cauliflower. Yeah. You don't know, Joel. No, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you don't know. Um, no, that you can wear like fried cauliflower. That's weird. <laughs> that counts. You can that's wear ear guards and you can drain it whenever it happens, but people like the way it looks. I, yeah. I've heard stories of people in Brazil like taking like pliers to their ear like to make mm -hmm. it happen because it makes you look like a tough guy but then you can't wear ear pods oh yeah that's crazy i actually had an idea for fake cauliflower ears whoa yeah Go that, on way, that way like if you're in a bad neighborhood you're like you know you don't want people to fuck it's like with those you. those you just uh, like put these fake hillbilly teeth <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, ear. i want them so too um, on both sides like a princess leia <laughs> cauliflower ear princess leia that'd be sick <laughs> the, the full shop <laughs> The full <laughs> shop. It was shop. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> Come on down to Saul's and get a shop. <laughs> I just kick you in the air for well, money. You're, you're telling me shop could just drain those and not anymore because no, it, it, it calcifies permanent. it becomes okay. like hard like this dude got his ear snapped in half because he got hit hard and it's hard in there so it's wow. snaps. Wow. I think you, can, you might be break. able to get yeah. You can you can you can YouTube that, but you, wow, I think you so might gross. be able to cut you open, scrape out the calcium, and then do that. But the thing to do is when it's still soft and it's blood in there or whatever the liquid is, go get it drained. Or there are dudes that just wear the wrestling headgear, right? Like, you like know. the Steiner brothers. Used to. Never, dude. Yeah, I'm I know. Not, I'm not going. I know. See, that's some Mexican idiot. shit right Hell there. No. You're just like, I don't want to look. I don't want to be embarrassed. I'll yeah. just fuck I think it, it kind of looks cool. The wrestling that, gear, yeah, yeah. Maybe one of my be. moves, I'd have a, every qualifier full, and then if I'm I'm down, I just <laughs> squeeze the pus in his eyes. <laughs> get out of here! No, and then I get him in a rear naked oh, choke. <laughs> um, I'm so I'm still kind of juiced because I saw Cher's dog earlier. Such oh, a cute it, dog. It has a little sweater on. It you guys, do you guys have uh, do you guys have dogs? Uh, I have a cat and a snake. My my dog passed. You away even got rid of the years. snake? No, oh, I'm trying. I hit up Ari. He said he's too busy. Okay, so we need to do this right here because clearly this is going to be a successful The thing podcast. is I want to go to somebody I trust, not just like, he's like, Hit up the Craigslist of Facebook. And Joel, like, eh. Joel, you could win Joel Snake, all right? You're on Ooh, Dogs all right, of Brown okay, Town. now I'm listening. <laughs> yeah. Are reach you a stranger? Out, <laughs> reach out to Dogs of Brown Town. Are you a we bad are, person? <laughs> yeah. What, 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 reach out to Dogs of Brown Town uh, on Instagram. Any of uh, Reach out to Joel Jimenez on Instagram. Yeah, I'm mostly sorry. Uh, I'm mostly sorry. Sh shoot him a, a video. Describing why you'd be a good parent to oh, a ball like python. Oh, or and if you're a Mexican looking to make boots, let them know. <laughs> that I don't use like the this. Whole animal. I don't like this. No. <laughs> <It's a tiny> <laughs> no. <laughs> like boots for a baby. He brings them back. It's his Jolberg. These are the yeah. Jolberg boots. They make a fucking a toe cuff. <laughs> oh, he's small. Nah, he's like he's like three feet, three and a half feet. Okay, so but I'm just trying to say when we get the diameters going, how yeah. how far the leather uh, will go across. He can make maybe <laughs> the fingers of a glove <laughs> make some big j Ooh. fingerless leather gloves yeah for, no, just, just, just the, the fingers, fingers. <laughs> be like big j we know you couldn't you didn't yeah. have enough for the full whole hand yeah we got your fingers covered. if you wear fingerless gloves we got the rest we covered the <laughs> oh what about drum warmers not the little uh, drum set <laughs> warmers <laughs> it could probably drum do that yes. <laughs> be all sad <laughs> stupidest thing ever man <laughs> Just as a reminder, Oh, buddy. I think about that with, like, leather bottom shoes or something. Like, the dumbest thing. Is that a thing? Leather bottom? No, 
know, but it'd be <laughs> crazy though, right? Like like this thing Steven, died yeah. for you to walk on. Well, I saw uh, Bruce, uh, Bruce Gray. He was ho- he was hosting Pollock. He yeah. had ostrich skin boots. Wow. Yeah, that's sick. That's that is sick. Fuck. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, because no one really but gives a shit the about. Top. You know what? Some of the all of the boots still regular shit. I just want the talents. So like, let me just get the talents. You know, the most bougie of like soccer cleats are made out of kangaroo leather. Are they really? Yeah. Because apparently there's kangaroos are like rampant in Australia, but I just right. I couldn't do it, man. When they said it was kangaroo, I was like, I can't buy it. Oh, I could fuck with that. You could? Yeah, well, who can you? Fuck? You get down, can you do that? I do. Huh? <laughs> anyway, he said, I, I, who, I, he said, who gives a fuck? I said, me. He's like, oh, he cares. Because it's like, it's like, what's the difference between a cow and a kangaroo if there's a lot of them? All right, would you do like a, the veal version of kangaroo, like the Ooh, little baby in the joey, pouch? A joey? Would you do joey boots? <laughs> oh, These are joey no, boots right here. Probably. It, yeah. Probably would. <laughs> I probably would, yeah. yeah. I mean, Dude, would, something inside of me won't so let dope. me. Do. He ain't never left his mama's pocket. Look how, look how soft this is. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, what if it's like how they, you know how they do the snake with like the snake head? If it's like a kangaroo boot, but the little Joey's like on the tip. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Just the head? You wearing the head as a head? Why? Why? Why is that different? Yeah, we want to know. Well, I just know that I've eaten veal, right? Uh huh. But I haven't taken a little baby cow's head and put it on a piece of. Like, how you, about this? Have you had veal? I have, and I was gonna say yeah. I think that the the drag, uh, the the worst thing society has ever done, is the veal TV dinner. The is what? That really the a thing? fuck? That's where I had veal. It was a veal TV dinner. That's oh not how God. you should. Have, well, it's not. I'm not. You shouldn't have veal ever. But yeah, like, that's but not how you should have veal. But that is the worst, right? Like it's like that's so fucked We up. killed this baby cow. Wait a minute. How's that but fucked I'm, up? But it's only you know. It's it's, it's like. Sure, I've had veal. Like, how did you have it? Like, it's not like I'm going out buying veal. Ever seen a hungry man? (laughs) It wasn't even that. It was like the worst. A hungry boy? It was even like cheaper. I'm guessing. Veal dinner. I'm guessing it's not real veal at that point. No, but. it is, and I'll tell you how it is. Because we used to sell veal at this Italian restaurant I worked at, mm-hmm. but they they got, monster. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. They sold these veal patties that were just veal nuggets. So it was like oh, it was like fifty percent veal, fifty percent cow, and they were delicious. They oh. were like they were great, but I was like the whole time I'm like oh, that baby cow. You're yeah. just eating it, but it's okay. I've eaten <laughs> stuff while I'm sad about it. <laughs> I feel like I've, I've eaten like the baby of like every animal I eat. Human. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, like uh, when we went to the Philippines, we had a whole suckling Uh-oh. pig. Your balut when you're out there? No, no. I'll probably try that this So a gross. suckling pig yeah, is a gross. little baby pig? It's a b- pig that's still suckling on its mom's teeth. And, and, and so the only food it's eaten is just milk. <laughs> so it's like super tender. This is dark. It yeah. is. Here's the thing. It is dark because we have a, and I've, I've talked about hor- to Hormos yeah. about this, because my wife is what I like to call a dodo white. Mm-hmm. A, a, you know what dodo videos are, correct? Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love them, but I, I can't them. get stuck on them. Yeah, because yeah, I can watch loop, over loop and over. Yeah. If you don't know what a dodo video is, that's when they put like a potbelly pig in a tuxedo. <laughs> it got rescued from like a cave or whatever. Yeah. My wife loves to watch those, but you show those videos. We shouldn't be showing those videos to like third world countries because they'll be just, they'll just be like, yo, why are you putting the food yeah. through a fashion show? Yeah, you know what I mean. Like exactly. you want to put a box of Cheerios in pajamas. It's yeah. like they, it doesn't make sense. That to suit's them. gonna yeah. ruin the flavor. Yeah. 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 So uh, for us to go, oh, that sucks. It's it's very first world. It's a yeah. first world privilege that we have, mm-hmm. just like having dogs. Like it used to be. Like my I, my parents used to like when we had dogs. They got dogs because they because us because we, were, yeah. we grew up here. But like they were like, all right. But remember, it's a thing. Yeah. So like they my dad they sort of like treated that. it kind of like a thing they had it leashed up all the time and yeah. i didn't know it was something that i f- i was against up until like now yeah you know now my dog i fucking spent si- me my wife and i spent six grand on him because yeah, he has I've a sensitive too, man. stomach man my dad would never do that he'd be like miko that's a dead dog yeah that dog is dead <laughs> and i was like all right, i never well. want pets again i think once my parent my pets pass uh i'm fucking done if you see me with the dog you know i really made it but i i can't handle the fucking stress or the money that it takes to have i don't know how people oh, fucking I'm, be having pets i'm on i'm always gonna have two dogs two two yeah, and they're cute too. Yeah. Well, your dogs are it's like you can get two more of your dogs, and they'll form one Voltron dog. <laughs> he has such you have a you have a, like an eight pound puppy and like a twenty pounder, and then a twenty pounder. Yeah. They're both sweet. They, I mean, you could take them to the, the supermarket. Eight pounder, or he's about ten now. That one's racist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's always he only barks him. at black people. Okay, <laughs> That's I'm it. saying the things he whispers to me. You know? <laughs> 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 no, but like I remember getting them because I was like. I was like, when my dog dies, I'm going to need another dog. 
to help me deal with the stress, yeah. right? Yeah. Damn, hormones I mean, is that's so... Just, that's just so... You're so yeah, bald. you got your pet a pet. That <laughs> dog would make me think... Oh, never mind. I don't... Say it. No, well, I just ahead. Wait, you mean... So that's why you have two now. I got the second I thought, one. Like, say, like, you find out your dog's terminal, and you're like, I need another dog when, for just to help me get through this. A quarterback? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then this, this, this new dog would just bum me out, because I'd be like, oh, yeah, you were the backup dog. Why did I need a backup dog? Oh, yeah, my other dog's dead. No, my dogs are health. My dog was healthy. <laughs> and I was, like, I was like, it'd be nice to have another dog just so that my dog's not alone all the time. And also, I was like, when my, when my dog inevitably dies... I'm gonna need another dog. Like once you once, to cope. I don't, I don't know how anybody could go back to not having dogs around. They're they're just so nice to have around. And they are also. I mean, they're okay. Also, they're a privilege. They're a privilege to have, and they they, are, they, yeah. they're for our they're for our mental yeah. health. They're yeah, for, for sure. Yeah, it's my you know it's our thing. I, I but let's not fuck around and go like uh, treat dogs. Like, that's my fucking that's my possession. Well, right? I used to I used to feel bad when I'd see like a dog with a homeless person, and then I heard Caesar Milan say uh, he goes, "Hey, you when you see a dog with a homeless person, don't feel bad because that the life they're living with that person is probably closer to the their wild like the life they're supposed to have in the wild like they're." Homeless so, people? Yeah. No, dogs. Oh, oh yeah. That's what I call them. No, <laughs> that's what I, that's there what will be no them. homeless slander <laughs> on this show. Also, I'm sick of these fucking the homeless jokes. Stop it. <laughs> Have these people not suffered enough? That's so funny. Now you got a whole Tarzan situation in my people? head where it's like wild dogs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just wild dogs and then people. one homeless guy chasing a rabbit. I think it's funny. To me. <laughs> <laughs> so you you what, so do you feel that if you get to a specific financial situation in your life, you would be able to handle dogs? You still wouldn't be able. I don't think mentally it, it's it's a mental thing. Yeah, I, I don't think I have. I don't think I like that responsibility. I think yes, they're cute. I love them, but I don't. I don't even know if I'm just like I don't know if I'm like an animal in my vicinity person. Like, I feel you. Like having them around all the time. I love them. I have a cat i love him but also sometimes i'm like i have to take care of this thing and that's i mean kind of like that i mean you gotta feed it we just put uh, cats feed are it, the you easiest walk it. no you do have to take care of it your your dog got sick you guys spent a bunch of money on no it. i'm talking about cat versus dogs oh. yeah cats are way oh, cats easier are way i do easier. love it i do i yes but i think the when, box when is gross though r.i.p I'm done with pets, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't think I want pets. Wait till you get in a relationship. You're going to get with a lady, and eventually that will change. That's hard, because I have whatever. been with girls who have their own pets, and I'm like, ah, oh, now i got to be connected to these pets. Now if something happens to them, now I'm sad because yeah. of your shit. I don't yeah. need that. I married into uh, my wife having it. My wife has a dog that she has tattooed on her arm, yeah. and then I married into that. He's my best friend now. I love that dog. When that yeah. dog dies, a piece of me will die. Damn. So that's that's it's going to happen. Yeah. Eventually, I, I like right now. Hopefully, it's all the ugly pieces that die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not racist anymore. That dog took something with me. That was weird. Yeah. No, and, and it's just I don't know. I uh, that's weird. I mean, hormones. Are you uh, are you ever? Are, were you growing up? Did you have any like? Uh, did your parents have any weird things about pets? Oh yeah, I remember. We had this little pet chihuahua cookie that my brother brought home. We had him for like a couple days, and my dad was pissed about it. He was like, he's like, this, this dog's just going to tear up the garden, blah, blah, blah. And then a couple days into having him, my dad made my brother, either my dad did this or he made my brother do this. Oh, shit. Here we go. So they filled a bucket with water. Oh, boy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, no. God. Oh, I was like, Jesus Christ, no. They just, they just took Cookie to the park and let him out, and he started running around this big park, and they just got back in the car and came home. Oh, that was the uh, – bring back the bucket story. This yeah. is, <laughs> oh, my God. This park God. was worse. And then, and then when they came home, my, my brother said he – got really upset and he went back looking for cookie and he Aww. couldn't find him so cookie. we like to think somebody found it because he was yeah. such a friendly sweet little chi chi super cute probably just went up to somebody and started like you know being sweet and they probably were like where's your owner and they took him home legend has it uh, that chihuahua lives in that park still. <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh man he's a shot caller there we, we also when i was a kid had a baby duck mm. really that we raised like in my class, my second grade. Oh class, yeah, I had that. We had, we had an egg that we hatched, yeah. and then the teacher let me take it home, and we had that in our backyard for a while, and that thing was shitting everywhere, 
And so my dad was like, we got to get rid of this thing. So we took it down to the lake by our house and just put it in the lake. It's a duck. We put it in the lake. You know, it's going to live a good life, right? Mm -hmm. My teacher comes to my house that night and she's like, I just found out you can't release a duck that's been raised by humans back into the lake. Oh It'll God. die. All the other ducks will attack it or something. You know, it's like, Wait, it's did like. Did she know that you released it? I told her I was going to release it into the lake and she was like, she oh, did okay. did some research. And then she did some research and, came, and I was like, I already released it. And you then, can't and raise, then we you went can't. back on the boat looking for the duck. The duck is <laughs> Hanging somewhere around. in Chinatown, dude. <laughs> oh, no. It's a house duck. It was, pe- it was peaking. <laughs> no way. Yeah. yeah, peaking Name at peaking. death. Dude. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Rest in peace, peaking duck. Dude, uh, yeah, I remember that. I remember coming in and... I remember the classroom stinking like duck shit one day. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck is this? Yeah, and then this kid, Richard, took it home. and I, that, that was me. I was Richard. <laughs> but he like, but he, they were like, they treated it good. You know, they had it in like a little pool for it waiting. Yeah, they're dodo whites, huh? Yeah, they probably yeah. had little. Those are dodo whites. That's yeah, the, that's good. Who invented that? <laughs> dodo whites. Well, it's just different because my dad. It's rarely not a white person in those dodo videos. No, rarely not. When it isn't, I go look at the no stereotype. <laughs> huh? I right. like that. Look at you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Sure. Uh, my dad had a pit bull growing up that he treated very much like a dog. He, he got pregnant all the time, Man. and it was awful. Awful. In rotation of getting pregnant. Oh, that's and that's how I thought growing dude. up. I was like, animals just get pregnant, It had dude. those ugly, like, like been pregnant six times, like yeah, nipples on it. Yeah, titties are all fucking oh, everywhere. Man, Awful. Poor thing, Awful. dude. Uh, it was a used I didn't mean life. ugly. You're, you're, you yeah, are, it was beautiful. Her name was Penny. Body Penny. Shamed up. But it would escape. Yeah. It would escape the yard. A lot. It would escape, and but it was vicious because it the wasn't yard trained. like it was prison, dude. Yeah, Doug. <laughs> yeah, it was in the, the yard of our was house. It chained up. It was kind. No, not really. But uh, home because we lived in a, a poor part of Stockton, so homeless people would walk by all the time, and that's what would aggravate it. So it would escape the yard. It would bite the homeless dude. Sometimes pretty viciously, man, yeah. like across the arm. And then the homeless dude would knock on the door and go, hey, your dog just bit me. Like this dude's arms fucked up. My dad Ooh, had a, wow. we had a, we had a protocol where my dad would play on, manipulate the homeless dudes where we had uh, tall cans of like 40s and like loose like money. Wow. So he was like, get $5, get a 40, give it to him, go, I'm sorry. Wow. So this homeless guy goes, oh, it's all right. He'd walk <laughs> away with an awful wound that needed hospital treatment, but he had a 40 and five bucks. Yeah. Then my dad was like, That'll, that's it's fine. It's the little thing. That's oh. fine. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, like, got, I got to keep 40s and loose cash around just in case. Yeah. Then I was just like, it would be bad. I was like, Jesus Christ. But like, here you go. And they yeah. were like happy. They were Why don't just we like, have this a, is trunk, a trunk full of old English? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is the best way. Every stuff. It's just my dad is just like, did you read Art of War or something? Like, we didn't have to go to the fucking hospital. What kind of plans do you have? You Hell know? yeah, dude. That'd be funny. It's like you have him in the car too. So it's like a, when you're like at a off ramp and there's like a homeless guy asking for change, you just give him a forty. You fucking. Like, you get pulled over by a cop. Are you drinking though? It's like absolutely not. It's poison. It's just sealed. This is sealed. <laughs> Me and my friend uh, Robert would play uh, like d- super loud death metal when we saw the jehovah's witnesses come into our door yeah, that was cool yeah i used to i used to talk to them i used to be like they would they'd be trying to convert me to jehovah's witness and, and i would always pretend them. like i'm not muslim but yeah. i would pretend like i'm muslim yeah. and i would be trying to convert them to islam so i'll just don't just talk to them i'd be like i'd be like i'd be like <laughs> but have you heard that through muhammad <laughs> you can find the path to allah and then they'd be like uh, they, they, they didn't know that they, they weren't gonna, prepped. They weren't ready for that one. You could just tell us to fuck off. That'd be good. <laughs> yeah. That'd be nicer for than yeah. this. I do like Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons though more than other Christians mm-hmm. because if Christians believe what they're saying, which is only path to heaven is through God, yeah. they should be going door to door trying to save souls. Yeah, that's what a good person would do. Yeah, you fuck know? that shit, dude. Yeah, we I'm got... gonna, it's annoying as fuck. But... Yeah, if they think that they need to save people, <laughs> they they should be trying a lot harder. Yeah. That's what I said to my Christian friends. They would always hate it growing up. I think Mormons are pretty nice. Like I went, oh, very remember nice. when I went to you. I have a good friend who's a Mormon. He's a comic. He's out here. He's a nice guy. Uh, and uh, when I went to Utah, we were like, "What's?" Well, but then they're just kind of chill. They're nice. They're not trying. To, I don't. For me, they're not like trying to like push it on anyone. Right. Like, they'll be like, "Hey, do you want to hear it?" No. All right. Later. Next house. Yeah. Which I think Jehovah's Witnesses like one of them's ended up in my living room before. <laughs> my mom's like, "How the fuck did you get inside?" <laughs> Get out of my house. <laughs> I heard that the Mormons, like, they're told, like, they, ha- they have to help you 
if you ask for help. Mm. So like if you're doing yard work, they should have come to the Mormon, that. and the Mormons walk come to up. Saul's house. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and Mormons walk up. You could be like, they could be like, hi, can we tell you about this? You, you could be like, do you mind helping me take out all this garbage? Yeah, yeah. And they, I gotta like, rob this liquor store, please. All right. They gotta, they gotta, <laughs> You, uh, said, you said you were from like the poorer area in Stockton. Like we were, we lived in. Yeah, that it's area. called Stockton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. the rich area of Stockton, like the Diaz brothers' house. <laughs> nah, That's the guy, it. <laughs> one cul de sac. Yeah. It was the guy who owned the Chargers. Uh, he lives in Stockton. Yeah, he's from Stockton. Damn, wild. He's like a billionaire. Yeah, he <laughs> opened up a bunch of like businesses, and then he bought the Chargers at one point. That's um, um, remind me about awful food. Things because if what how, where are we at with time? We we, we thirty something. N- no, I have no idea. Yeah, we're thirty. <laughs> 30 something okay. wow okay oh can i Perfect. do it now Yeah, by all means yeah okay so when we're talking about like awful food right you did the suckling pig right there's all that have you guys heard of suckling pig is delicious have you guys heard good. of ortolan no Mm-mm. so the ortolan is served in french cuisine typically cooked and eaten whole traditionally diners cover their heads with their napkin or oh, a I've towel seen this. while eating the delicacy the bird is so okay uh okay it's like pretty fucking dark, though. Let's see. Orlaton bunting. It is. Let me see. Uh, uh, it's like a partially hatched egg? It's no. It's it's. Oh, wait. Let me see. I'll tell you right now because it's really fucked up the way that they like make it. Like they, they raise the bird like in a dark cage where it can't move. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. They give it fucking Bane from Batman's backstories. <laughs> and it's like they, they have to like cover their head while they eat. And I guess it's because it's so expensive, but it's also like covering your head from God, you know, like. Um, what type of religion does this? It's not a religion. No. It's like a rich people fucking. Yeah, like, I was looking at you, Hormos. No, I was no, giving I've you seen, real I've squinty eyes. I've seen it in a movie. Okay, where, I got where, where it. It was in Secession. The, yeah. That's where a lot of people see. Okay. The birds are caught with nets. Set during their autumn migratory flight to Africa. They are then kept in covered cages or boxes. The birds react to the dark by gorging themselves on grain, usually millet seed, until they double their bulk. The birds are then thrown into a container of armagnac, which is like cognac, which both drowns and marinates the bird. Mm. The bird is roasted, so they drown it. The bird is roasted for eight minutes and then. They kill it? (laughs) They They have to drown it in the cognac? Yeah. Yeah. It's part of it, the sadness. Uh, the bird's roasted for eight minutes and then plucked. The consumer then places the bird feet first into their mouth while holding onto the bird's head. The orlaton is then eaten whole with, with or without the head, and the consumer spits out the larger bones. The traditional way French gourmands eat orlatons is to cover their heads and face with a large napkin or towel while consuming the bird. The purpose of the towel is debated. Some claim it's to retain the maximum aroma with the flavor as they consume the entire bird at once. Others have stated tradition dictates that this is to shield from God's eyes the shame of such a decadent and disgraceful act. And others have suggested it's just to con- uh, hide them spitting out bones. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm going to start eating Taco Bell with a towel over. That's fucking <laughs> dark, though, right? They're, they they fucking they torture this bird in, a, in the yeah, dark to gorge itself, and then they drown it in... You better make sure that bird doesn't escape. It's basically right. think, what think, Sam Kinison did to his body. I think they just are doing this so to distract from flog raw. They're like, oh, you think flog raw is bad? Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I guess we it's, it's outlawed in a bunch of places now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Watch us torture this bird to, away from flog... Have you guys ever had flog raw? No, uh, no, not that I know of. It's pretty good. Yeah, you get the whole thing. I'm, I'm not, it's not what is bad. it? Goose liver? Yeah, it's goose liver. I heard it's it very tastes, fatty. I heard it tastes like a meat butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A it's... meat butter is also a Muslim name. <laughs> a meat butter. <laughs> butter. Yeah. It's just shameful stuff. Like I, I just as far as I'm just talking about gross stuff. Like I will say here as a Mexican, I do not like menudo. Yeah, I loved it as a kid. I think they I'm coming Rick, back Ricky around Martin, on it. Though. We wouldn't have Ricky Martin without you. <laughs> you're very, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I oh. think I'm, oh, well, I've been trying not to eat meat. It's been a few weeks now that I've been off it. I was vegetarian for six years. I'm sort of like, my dad eats so much meat that lately I've been pretty grossed out by it. His buddy's a butcher. Well, yeah, you grew up eating veal. <laughs> yeah, TV dinner. <laughs> TV dinner. But, uh, but, but lately I've been like looking at menudo and I've been like, ah, I think maybe I could like come around to that. What's in menudo again? It's, it's just, tribe. Yeah, tribe. I just don't like the spongy consistency. Yeah, bro. It's great. But like, I will see Mexicans who I know don't like it, but they're like, oh, it's so, so good. I see their face. I was like, that eyeballs yeah. that you're making right now, <laughs> say it's not good. The broth 
broth is good. I've had tripe tacos where it was all fried up. And Those are that great. That shit was good. You get the tripe and you get it really, really crispy. It's fantastic. Cause you can't even taste the poop. But uh, Yeah. I've had a shit burrito <laughs> once yeah. where oh. I've eaten the tripe and I'm eating it. And I'm like, this is straight shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm eating a caca burrito right now. Yeah. But I paid $13 for it. Yeah. So I'm cock down it. the hatch, dude. <laughs> yeah. Come on yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. It came just, out the hatch. It's yeah. going down the hatch. Yeah. yeah. I don't like, I don't like, I just, it's just so slimy and gross. And just thinking about it, I was like, and, and there's such a pride behind our food in Mexican culture that if you say shit like I don't like menudo, they'll like, right away they're like, oh, you're whitewashed, yeah, you're whitewashed. Exactly. I'm sorry, I don't like your fucking slimy soup, dog. It's just gross. How many years till menudo becomes like bougie? It's already kind of bougie now. Yeah, the meat has the, the tripe itself has since the conception of menudo or whatever. Now it's so expensive. Yeah, comparatively. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I've heard my aunt complaining about it. Yeah, and it's going to continue. Yeah, it's like it's like brown people food. Once white people start fucking with it, yeah, oh, yeah. Like, like quinoa. Like there was, they were saying like people in Latin America who've been quinoa's been the staple of their diet mm. can't get quinoa in certain places because the international market is the money's gone so high mm. that people aren't selling to the yeah. local people. Anymore. Well, all good food is poverty food, and it's like you know, and then it becomes like bougie, yeah, lobster, all that shit. You know, it's like. People didn't. They fed that shit to like prisoners. It's so good now, though. You ever have a fucking prisoner roll? I heard a thing that, uh, oh, that uh, they made it so bad though in prison. I'm not a huge. Yeah. They I'm not a huge. Uh, it was all rubbery. Yeah, <laughs> not a huge lobster guy. Are you a big seafood guy in general? Not really. You know, I feel like you're. I like sushi. I like like sushi's good. Yeah, you Just like become good. vegan, you dude. Like I see it. I see it in your eyeball. Nah, because I have too many like. There are like a lot of beautiful memories of with, with friends over dinner, and sometimes when I'm thinking about being vegetarian. I think about the places that I like to go with my friends. You can still go to those places. No, for sure. And I know. And I, I've done it. I did it six years. I, I'm good. But like, I think uh, sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, I like to go to like uh, Portillo's with Jeremiah or like Korean barbecue or like pizza. You don't want to cut anything out. But, yeah. And but, also, but I think scientists have proven that like scientific proof probably says that the best diet for humans is like an omnivorous, you know, not too much of this. Try to eat good whatever blah, blah blah but who knows i don't know i've been grossed out by it lately so i've, I've been like i've been thinking about cutting mammals out like yeah? cutting pork out cutting beef out just going chicken fish and veal just why just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> why why just because uh for one thing like it's worse for you yeah the, the mammals seem to be red meat worse yeah. for you i feel but bad. also i also it's like i'm like i've watched like a dodo video of a pig and i'm like yeah I'm like, I've been eating that thing. I heard a pig's <laughs> about as smart as a three-year-old. Yeah. We had a pig. Uh, so we should start eating three-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> How smart are the three-year-olds? Yeah. Not that fucking smart, dude. I outsmart <laughs> them every time, dude. Ten out of ten. Start hanging outside you of school. You ever schools. played hide and go seek with a three-year-old? They tell you where they are. <laughs> yeah, where they do that. <laughs> yeah, they start giggling the second you're like, here I go. They're like... <laughs> It's under the table every time. <laughs> yeah. This kid died happy. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, that's how we're gonna end this goddamn episode. Uh, do, uh, you want to do one more? A good one. Good one of the. Oh, week. good one of the week. Do you guys have any good ones of the week? I, I didn't really particularly I, think I did, about. God damn it! And now I'm. I got uh, one. You got one. Go ahead. I got one. Austin Reeves of the Los Angeles Lakers is oh, my yeah. good one of the week. He scored twenty something in a win against the Magic last week. With LeBron out, this this guy, second year white guy, American white guy. It's very rare for an American white guy to play good at, in the NBA. He's balling out. Austin Reed. Damn, hell yeah. Good Sick. one of the week. Yeah. Uh, mine is Walter White. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Walter he's white. got white in the name. Walter I just started white. watching Breaking Bad. I think he's a good man. I think he's doing what he has to to protect his family. And, you know, he's trying to make bank in a in a... In a uh, respectable way, <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. I don't. I don't support uh, the the making or selling of methamphetamine, but I do support taking care of that family. Uh, mine's my wife because we had sex. Huh? Yeah. That's, that's, a reason. that's a reason. That's a good white that's right there. That's a great one. That's a good one, and I'm never gonna forget it. All right, that's been <laughs> Dogs of Brown Town. I'm Saul Trujillo. Uh, follow me at Saul Comedy on Instagram, SaulComedy.com. Uh, what else? I got a show in San Diego, April 22nd. I'm trying to sell that out, Saul Trujillo and friends. Uh, I also got, I got another podcast on the Comedy Store Studios called This Week in Crime with comedian Steve Fury. Hormos? Uh, you can find me on all social media and on Venmo at Not Hormones. 
and uh, got a comedy dating show at the Comedy Store on April 5th. Uh, if this is out by then, I don't know. But uh, if you hear this and it's not April 5th yet, come to the Comedy Store. <laughs> I'll be on that dating show April 5th. Yeah. Uh, yeah, baby. Uh, Plug your socials. Yeah, uh, Joel Jaime Jimenez. Uh, <laughs> at Mostly Sorry. Joel Jaime Jimenez. Sorry, I didn't like the way I said that. Joel. At Mostly Sorry on Instagram. Uh, I'm at the Comedy Store a lot. Uh, that's about it. I put everything on my Instagram. Fuck with me. Anyways, we baby. love you. Bye. 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 Please rate, review, subscribe right down here. Follow us on Instagram at Dogs of Brown Town and follow me on Instagram at Not Hormones. Don't forget about me at Solo Comedy, Solo Trujillo. Hey, don't leave me out of the fun. I'm at Mostly Sorry on Instagram. Yeah.